I am inside the playing hall where Team India just won their match against Ukraine and sitting in front of me is Srinath. Srinath, uh, I have to ask you, how much was it a role of a coach, captain, you, Abhijit Kunte, in, in taking these decisions? Can you tell us a bit about that? Because, you know, we've spoken to the players. We want to know what goes behind the scenes in the minds of a coach. Um... No, I think uh, in terms of decisions, uh, yeah, the entire uh, decisions uh, are taken by uh, us and... Uh, both of you together, yeah? Yeah, both of us together. And you, you look at a lot of different things. You look at uh, the colour, you look at uh, the openings played by the opponents, you look at uh, uh, who has a better score against who. You work, out, you work through all these uh, combinations across all six boards and uh, then we uh, come together with... Uh, who uh, who is probably the best suited for uh, each position but having said that uh, sometimes all these things many times these things kind of like fly out of the window because uh, we have such an amazing team and uh, i think all of them can uh, be the very best on any given day True. so sometimes uh, you know i think you put anyone in any role and uh, they deliver it so this can also be the case so when uh, india won the first match 4-2 and then we were two and I think we were two and half half leading did you ever think that we could lose all the three games and have to prepare for the blitz tie break uh, so I had uh, I had I had initially uh, secretly prepared for such a situation I mean I didn't I didn't talk about it too loudly but I did I did have it in mind you know like a uh, bunker you build underground for a nuclear holocaust in case it goes to a blitz what combination <laughs> Uh, we also we also briefly discussed it in a team meeting earlier, but to have it uh, uh, in final in uh, on paper uh, in, and uh, to put it together, uh, I did have it in mind. Some and may call it pessimism, but you think it's uh, you have to be ready, yeah, for the worst. Yeah, I mean pessimism is uh, quite important in certain situations. For example, let's say you're crossing the road. Uh, you cannot be optimistic and uh, imagine that nothing is ever going to hit you. You need pessimism. You need you need to imagine that something can hit you so that you walk in such a way. So optimism uh, can be quite dangerous in certain situations when uh, the cost of something is quite big. Right. Like optimism is a good thing, but when uh, the cost of an event is too high, then you need a bit of pessimism in the mix. So it's it's a balance, you know. Uh, extreme of anything can be quite dangerous mm. so the players need to be optimistic everyone has their roles my role is to prepare for the worst and to make sure that we uh, do well even the worst situation uh, so yeah i had this planned out and then uh, when we were two and a half, half up it almost looked like you know we we're just going to coast through yeah, i mean one of the three would have held like perhaps humpy would have held or exactly. Vidit or would have humpy, held humpy or... had a good position and uh, uh, with it was also not doing too badly but at some point i started to sense that uh, this could go to a blitz tie break because uh, with it with it was under pressure yeah true Vaishali was just completely lost and uh, she has been performing miracles through this tournament yeah. saving yeah. dead positions but this one seemed one too many at some point it happens you know you cannot keep getting miracles all the time and uh, i was i was watching humpy screen throughout and uh, it did feel like you know she was not in her best shape. She felt a bit tentative. Uh, many times she was um, being a bit indecisive. Even when she had like 20 seconds remaining, uh, she would think about a move and then pull it back and make another move. Uh, so when I when I saw these things and when I saw at one point her opponent refused repetition and started to press on and Humpy was getting worse. Uh, at this point, I was already uh, starting to think about uh, uh, submitting our uh, Blitz team and uh, the chest results link was not working so I pinged the arbiter and he said we would have 10 minutes after the game so yeah uh, that was already running on my mind and uh, I mean uh, getting AD onto the field was a very important decision because at some point I think Adiban was chilling out in the chat during the live commentary and I think uh, him getting to play was also a surprise for him but a very good decision yeah, uh, that was that was something we had uh, consensually uh, decided uh, quite early on, you know. It kind of reminds me of this uh, scene from an Avengers movie when uh, the Avengers are in trouble and then Hulk comes in. And uh, <laughs> the, 
enemies are like you know we have an army and the avengers are like we are the hulk for it was that kind of a moment for us when we brought in ad and he just smashed his opponent with b3 it was amazing uh, there are some things that ad can do which probably no one else can do in the world and uh, that's his confidence and how he remains under pressure how we can walk in in a situation like this with a smile yeah exactly <laughs> and, and just lighten up the mood a bit absolutely so i think these are these are things only ad can do you put him here you tell him to handle obs no but you tell him to do this <laughs> <laughs> this ad can do but harika also yeah today she was a star absolutely uh, harika she is such a champion uh, i mean that's that's a team we have you know each of them can step up like that and it's it's like it's like the avengers it's like a dream team hmm. all of them are such high level such amazing players and uh, it it really makes your work easy to manage such a team well i'm sure that it's a tough job and when things come under pressure to make the right decisions is what ca- counts so congratulations sri and all the best for the semis and finals thank you thank you so much sir